Hey everyone, it's Shakes. Hope you're having a wonderful day, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase your FPS in Team Fortress 2. Now, if you've been on the channel for a while, you probably know that I've already made a video like this maybe one or two years ago, I don't exactly remember, but it turns out that method actually got outdated, and so here I am making the updated version that works right now and will give you extra FPS in Team Fortress 2. Because despite the fact that it came out in 2007, all the massive updates that came out that added new effect and all these different things made it really, really challenging to run, surprisingly, even on pretty strong systems. So yeah, if you need extra FPS, FPS, this is where you should go. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into the tutorial. If you get subscribed, that'd be nice. Recently, we've been growing a lot. I don't know exactly why, but I'm just going to keep doing the same thing. So subscribe if you want to, or if you don't, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to masterconfig.com. It's going to be in the description, so you don't really have to look for it all that much, and then click on the download button. So once you're here, you're going to have to be doing a little bit of decision making. That's because you kind of have to gauge how bad your computer is exactly. So if you have a really, really bad computer, you're going to want to probably choose low or very low. If you just want to make the game a little bit more optimized, make sure it doesn't stutter as much and stays at a pretty high constant FPS, then maybe you should go with medium high or medium. But if you have pretty terrible FPS, it's just not really working for you, it just makes the game really, really hard to play, or you just want as much FPS as physically possible, then I'd recommend going for medium, low, or low. I'm going to go with low because I just want as much FPS as possible possible for as much competitive advantage as I can get. But if you have a really terrible computer, it's a toaster that doesn't make toast anymore but plays games, then maybe you're going to want to go with very low. Make sure that you're reading this entire description. I'd recommend reading the description for any one of them just so you know what you're downloading and what kind of config you're going to be installing. But anyway, as you can see, it says negatively affects playability by a lot and disables very f essential features like HUD elements and desperation for performance. So if you're desperate for performance, maybe that's the one. But for the majority of you guys, even if you have a pretty bad computer, I'd recommend going for low. And if you need even more FPS, then maybe you can switch it over. So just kind of figure out which one, you know, give an educated guess. And if you don't like that, you can just come back to the site and switch it later on. So once you've chosen your preset, I've chosen low, then just select any add-ons that you want. Maybe you don't want some certain things like footsteps or something. Footsteps are pretty useful, but they're not that, you know, prevalent in Team Fortress 2. So maybe you don't want to hear them in the background. You can just click that. I'm going to click Disable Pyroland because I just think it's kind of useless. And a lot of these actually give you a little bit of FPS, but not that much. So just don't be too bent out of shape if you want to disable something, but you don't know how much it's going to hurt your FPS or, you know, improve your FPS. Now, tutorial, for example, is pretty useful if you're a veteran gamer and you already know how to do everything in Team Fortress 2. Flat Mouse is also very useful if you want to have just raw input as, you know, a lot of pros and pretty much every FPS have recommended over acceleration. So it just gives you no acceleration and one-to-one -one zoom sensitivity just so you know that all your shots and all your movements with your mouse are all going to be raw input. They're not going to be accelerated or just tampered in any way. Transparent view models only work on DX level 90 or higher and DX level 90 is kind of recommended if you have a little bit of a stronger computer or something that can run it at least at a pretty good frame rate already but for me dx level 81 has run quite a bit better in my experience at least uh, but i'll show you guys how to change that later on so if you think you have a bad computer then i'd recommend just keeping this off experimental if you want to try experimental settings i don't know exactly what this does it, there's no explanation at least that i can find so uh just i'm just gonna click it on because why not if you have a bad gpu then check this if you have a pretty decent or a good gpu then don't check this because it can potentially reduce performance and the same thing with low memory if you have four gigabytes or lower then i'd recommend checking this or else it might per, you know reduce your performance if you have higher memory so just keep that in mind check this if you have low if you don't then don't simple enough right so now that you've made all your hard, hard decisions, just click on the download, you know, whatever preset I chose low, so it's going to say that. Under download your files, click download the preset and the selected add-ons. And then it's going to download one and it's going to ask you if you want to allow to download multiple files. So just allow it so it can download all of these files, all the add-ons and the low uh, VPK. And once you have all your lovely files downloaded, just go into your uh, Steam library, right click Team Fortress 2, click properties. Go to local files and then go to uh, browse local files. Go to the TF file and then go to custom and this is where you're going to drop all your new files. So just drag and drop each one of them into uh, the TF slash custom folder. And then once we have all these in here, you're going to be almost done. X out of this page, then go back to your Steam library, right click this again, go to properties again, and then in general, go to set launch options. And then once you're here, type in dash DX level. And then as I said before, if you have a pretty bad computer, then I'd recommend going with 81. But if you have a pretty decent computer already, then go with 90. 
So for example, I have a pretty decent computer, but I'm going to go with 81 anyway, just because I want as much FPS as possible, as I said like eight times already in this video. And if you didn't know, this is just going to change the DirectX level that this game is going to run on. So it's usually on DirectX level 9. But if you put it back to DirectX level 8, then it can run considerably better because it's on kind of uh, older kind of, uh, I don't know, is it an engine? Is it a, is it, what, what is it? What is DirectX? It's a downloadable software. On an older downloadable software, it'll probably run better. Anyway, though, after you type that in, if you don't want to have the opening video, you know, where the guy has a little bit of a faucet on the back of his head for no reason, then just type in Novid. That's going to make you start up into Team Fortress 2 faster without having to watch that intro video every single time you open up the game. If you prefer your game to be in full screen, then type dash full. And if you prefer it to be in windowed, then type dash windowed. And if you prefer it to be in windowed borderless, then type in uh, windowed and no border. However, if you're playing full screen, then you can use a bunch of different resolutions. So if you want to push the least pixels possible, if you're a really bad GPU and you want to push the least pixels possible so your game can run as fast as possible, then you can go even as low as dash W, which is the width of your screen, 640 pixels by dash H, 480 pixels. So now this is the lowest that I know of that TF2 supports. And if you jump into the game under these settings, then you're going to see that there isn't that many pixels. You can actually see them on your screen each pixel pretty much, but it's going to run really, really well usually. But anyway, if there's any specific resolution that you want to run at, for example, 720p, then just type in 12 with 1280, which is the width of, you know, a 720p screen, and then dash H, which is of course the height again, uh, 720. So that's a 720p screen. Anyway, though, I'm just going to go to window and then no border. That's automatically going to use uh, whatever your actual screen resolution is. So if you have a 1080p screen, it's automatically going to use that. If you have a 1440p screen, it's obviously going to automatically use that and so on. However, in game, if you do choose a lower resolution on window, no border or just window at all, it's going to obviously be smaller and smaller and it's not going to stretch out like it would on full screen. So just keep that in mind. It's going to be pretty hard to play at 640 by 480 if it's just a tiny window in the middle of your screen. So we're just going to hit OK, and then we're going to go into Team Fortress 2 and see how bad the game looks, and if we have a pretty strong, considerable FPS boost. So as you can see, Team Fortress 2 has opened, and it has no border, but it's actually at 640 by 480 so it's very, very small. You're not going to be able to play like this unless you can just go really close to your screen and squint. So either you're going to go to Options and then change it so it's in full screen so you can actually stretch the game out and actually see the game, or you can actually just change the resolution to match your actual screen, so you're going to be able to see it in its full resolution. So this is obviously going to be harder to run if you have a bad GPU, so just keep that in mind. As I said before, I'd recommend probably going with full screen and then choosing maybe a lower resolution so it's easier for your game to push less pixels. As I said before though, I'd recommend for the majority of you guys to actually go to full screen and then use whatever resolution your actual screen is, so for the majority of you guys, 1080p. And if it still doesn't run well, then you can go to 1600 times 900, then 1280 times 720, and then you you can go to, you know, the normal 4x3 and then you can keep going down the resolutions to see which one works for you and gives you the best FPS versus how many pixels you get. Because, you know, obviously you can turn it down to 640x480, but it's not going to look that nice and you will get a ton of FPS, but, you know, the experience might not be there if you can't see much of the game. So pretty much just try to find a balance between visual fidelity and FPS so you can have as enjoyable an experience as possible. And as we jump into a match, we can see how supposedly bad it looks as we are on the low config. And if you do everything that I've showed you guys in this video, you know, if you configured and then downloaded and then installed the configuration and also added all the things in your launch options, and then you tampered with your resolution to give you as much FPS as you need. Overall, you're going to have a pretty good experience without destroying the look of your game unless you, you know, chose that very low config. And if I turn, and if I look at my FPS by typing in net underscore graph, that's how you can check your FPS and ping, you can see in the bottom right corner, I have approximately 200, 280, 290 FPS. It dropped down to 180 once I got into a little bit of a populated area, but that is quite a bit of FPS. So I think I'll be just fine. And if you've done all of that, then you're sure to get enough FPS to enjoy the game and play it how it was meant to be played. And yeah, that's pretty much how to increase your FPS in Team Fortress 2. Thank you guys all so much for checking out the video. Like if you liked it or, you know, you want to like it. Comment if you have any suggestions or want to say anything. I read all my comments. And subscribe because I'm a channel worth subscribing to. Maybe. I, I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching. See you in the next one. And uh, peace.